Well, good morning. We're having some of our muffins and some cheese. What day is it? Day 10? 11. Oh my gosh. One thing we've learned is that if we give her like a full muffin or even a half muffin, I think it almost looks too overwhelming to her because if she holds it and tries to take a bite, it's just big. And so if we cut it into like strips or things like that, yeah, you can have some cottage cheese. Hold on, baby. If we cut it into like strips or just smaller pieces that she can hold and actually like be able to take a bite of, she'll actually eat it. So it's <laughs> the little things we're figuring out about this little fickle one. Yummy. Did you make those muffins with daddy? With daddy. Yeah. Mommy, was it? Mommy and daddy. Was it fun? Yeah. It's yummy. Is it yummy, yummy? Uh, on your chair. You were, yeah, you were on your thing, your stool. So I am currently putting some clean dishes away while she eats some breakfast. We're listening to some kids Christmas music and it's just cute. And also the song from Alvin and the Chipmunks came on. Totally forgot about Alvin and the Chipmunks and how annoying that song is. Even as a kid, I remember being like, this is annoying. So I got the dishes done, which is a good feeling. And these silicone things are great when you're baking like muffins or whatever, like we did the other day. However, they are not... They're not hard to clean, but you really do have to like clean each one individually. I tried to put them in the dishwasher and their dishwasher is safe, but they just didn't come clean. So I ended up hand washing them and they stain a little bit, which is not a big deal. We've had these for years, but the nice thing is they cut down on paper waste, but you know, it is more work for you. <laughs> and then we've got some of our reusable bags that were just air drying here that I cleaned. So if you've seen that little owl chair that she has, we bought on Amazon probably a year ago now. We have to wash that cover from time to time because, of course, she snacks on it. She loves on it, slobbers on it. So be careful, baby. Yeah, you can have that. Uh, I took the cover off, and you always have to, like, piecemeal it back together. <laughs> but it's such a good feeling to get stuff like that clean because it's been needing it for a while. <laughs> the second. Hey, Genevieve, do you want to go to the park? Do you want to go to the park? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, well, Noki wants to go to the park, don't you? Your phone ended up running out of storage, so we started this, and then I think it stopped. So. Yeah, so wherever we were, we're going to the park, but first we're dropping some things off at Goodwill. Um, some of those toys that I pulled together in books that we're just getting rid of, passing on, and just other stuff, some clothes and things from around the house, and then going to the park, and little Noki boy's all excited. Miss Gigi is excited, too, so... Hey, I'm excited. I can't believe this weather's like 60, I'm excited. 60 degrees. She's excited. He's excited. You're excited. I'm excited. It's a very exciting day. We all scream day. for ice cream. All right. We're on our walk. This little one insisted on wearing her Elsa dress. So here it's we are. It's also starting to get clotheslined by Pinocchio's leash. Always. Right. Pinocchio is having the day of his life. He's like, are you guys sure it's December? And we're like, no, we are not. Actually, this weather is too nice. It's too nice. I don't even know how to eat this sweater. No, you really don't. I cannot believe this. I haven't looked at the weather for the next like week. Like, does it go back down, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it does, but yeah, this is just lovely. We're looking at birdies. Pinocchio says, I'm not, I'm looking for squirrels. Oh my. This little park has these little like swing benches and she just loves them. So she them from a mile away and swing, swing. come on. Swing, swing. Like, swing. Right. I don't mind it though. We got a view of the water right? here. It's got this really nice view. Pinocchio, he's Pulling like, come on guys, cars. guys, come on. We got Three places to be. Three passed us and he's like, I need to smell their scent. I love you. I love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gigi, you jumping? Good. Good job. Wow, what a cool bridge. We walked on it and she said, be careful, be careful. Like, <laughs> yes, you are right. There's no edges. You got to be very careful. No I mean, it's a two no foot edges. drop, but still. Well, this little one has already pooped. Aren't you, buddy? Aww. And also, whoops, we meant to bring like a towel or something. <laughs> yeah, it we sounds like we'll be cleaning up the... Yeah, not bad. Alrighty, so I've got my reheated coffee from this morning to take with me in the car. I'm going to go to the grocery store right now because we both just ate some lunch. Genevieve is laying down for a nap and Tyler is editing Vlogmas. So, and Pinocchio is eating a bone. He's so happy. He had the greatest walk. He felt like a wild dog, quenching in the leaves, looking for squirrels. Anyway, um, so that is what's going on right now. We actually need a weird amount and we also, I need to look for a couple of gifts for like gift, like white elephant type gift exchanges. And then we do a kid's one with my family. Um, 
and so I need to get one for that. It's like $10 and under. So we'll see what I find there. So it's kind of, I told Tyler I'd try to be fast because I know he wants to go on a run, but I'm like, that part I know will take a little bit of time. So we'll see what we get done. Also, I have totally been listening to the new Taylor Swift album, Evermore. I almost said Everglow, Evermore. It's pretty good so far. I'm only like four or five songs in and it's got that same vibe as Folklore, but I feel like already more of the songs are catchy right off the bat. Whereas with Folklore, I feel like it took me a while to get into like any of the songs, if that makes any sense. If any of you guys care, I don't know. Okay, so we've been having an issue with hearing a sound. Some people have said they keep hearing sounds during transitions between clips in Vlogmas. And I think we finally figured out what's happening. So let me show you. So, okay, so when we're editing, we film on both of our phones throughout the day. And then in the morning, we compile all the footage together from both of our phones. And then we obviously put it all in order and then it goes up. So if you're looking at the timeline here, it looks fine, right? It just looks like the normal timeline, even if you don't, I mean, you know, these are just each video clips. So that's how that works. But we noticed, let me try and zoom in here. So you're looking at the end of that clip there, right? You see that there's like a little thing right there at the end, but it doesn't really look like that crazy. You know what I mean? It just looks like a normal waveform here in your sound. But if you zoom in, so the red there means that it's way too loud. So it doesn't even, you can't even see it when you're looking at it from far away. But if you zoom in really close on the clip, you can kind of see there that there's this little blip there at the end, right when Jessica ends the video. And it seems to only be from Jessica's phone but it's weird because we obviously, we film on our phones all the time. We have all year this year because we've been uh, vlogging during quarantine and all that kind of stuff. So we've been vlogging constantly. So I don't know what this is. It's just some sort of glitch, but it only seems to be on the clips that we get from Jessica's phone. And it's not on every single clip. It's only on certain clips. So like other ones, you can go to the end of this clip and see, look, there's nothing there. Uh, where'd it go? Yeah, look, it doesn't exist there. It's just so weird that you don't hear it when you're editing and you don't see it, but then if you get real close, you see it, and apparently you can hear it on some headphones. So I don't know if that didn't make any sense. The good news is I think we figured out what's happening and we're gonna try and watch really, really closely on all these clips to make sure that we cut off the last like one second. So hopefully this won't be an issue anymore. Okay, update. It is not just Jessica's phone. It's actually both of our phones because this is a clip that I did and it's on the end of this clip, but look, there it is. What is that? But then if you zoom in a little bit more, it goes away. What is this glitch? I don't understand. So I think literally from now on, we'll just every single clip just go through and take off the last like half second to one second of it. So I'm uh, doing some Christmas shopping. I think I've got some uh, white elephant gift ideas and fun stuff. Look at this game I just found. I did not know this existed. All Bob's Burgers. I was thinking about giving it to Tyler for Christmas. However, if I'm vlogging about it, he'll see it. I think we might just pull it out and play it tonight because I am so excited. And we have got some coupons, baby. Okay, it is 5.30 and I was hoping to go on a run today, but it's already dark and Jessica's not here. She's at the grocery store still. So I am going to just go do a workout down in the basement. It's supposed to be still decent tomorrow. It's like 55 instead of 60, um, but uh, it's supposed to rain in the morning, but it's supposed to stop by the afternoon. So hopefully tomorrow I can actually go on a run, but tonight, so I'm actually doing something. I'm gonna go work, down, work out down in the basement where I meow. So I figured I'd do a, just a quick little impromptu grocery haul of things we got for the week. Um, got some stew meat for the Guinness and beef stew that Tyler, or beef and Guinness stew, doesn't matter, that he's going to make this week. And we got some uh, uh, turnips and parsnips too. I had to like look at the tags to make sure I bought the right things uh, for that. I got some bread, my favorite, the white bread done right. Some of our favorite eggs from Vital Farms. So... <laughs> This, these little chicken nuggets, <laughs> I had to get them for Gigi. We're going to see if she likes them. She's so obsessed with Frozen. Got some yogurt for her. We needed, we were totally out of like white jasmine or basmati rice. We kind of use them interchangeably. Uh, so bought a big thing of that to refill our container. These are for the delivery drivers because you know what? The biggest hit of my little delivery driver like basket of snacks the Nutty Bars. These have gone faster than anything and we're already out. So I went ahead and got a bigger pack of those. Um, oh, I got Zevia, which I love. It's like zero calorie uh, soda and it just has Stevia to sweeten it. I don't think I've ever gotten like their Mountain Dew type style. So I usually get the root beer, uh, the root beer and the cream soda. So I figured I'd try this. Then some salad, cherry tomatoes, cheese sticks, some butter, I've already put opened it and put some in our fridge here. It's our favorite kind of just like butter sticks is the Kerrygold. And then got some unsalted butter because a lot of our baking we're going to be doing in the next week or two calls for unsalted. Tyler requested different nuts 
to snack on. So we got some pistachios, uh, some pumpkin seeds, and some almonds. Got some perfect bars and Tyler's favorite yogurt. I finally got a pack of them. If you saw my oh, Trader Joe's haul, I also got a few things at Meyer, and I bought only two yogurts for him, and one of them was open. So he's been like out of yogurt. Anyway, some beef broth, some snacks for Gigi, Ritz crackers, because I think we're going to do our little like homemade Thin Mints recipe. So stay tuned for that one. Got these. I haven't bought these for Genevieve in a while, and I forgot how much she loves them. And again, they have fruit and veggies in them, so definitely she will be pumped to have those again. Got some grapes, some cottage cheese, some capellini. We're making our favorite chicken sesame noodles recipe that's really, really fast later this week. So that is for that. Got some yogurt. I think that's everything. I got a lot of other stuff you'll see like in the background, some Christmas gifts, some gift cards, other things that I'm not gonna show right now, but this was pretty much all of the food stuff. All right, since I didn't work out yesterday, I did a full hour long workout today. So I feel like I'm at least pretty much caught up. Have you guys done your workouts today? And don't lie to me, because I'll know if you're lying to me. Gigi, who is that? Jessica said, I was going to give this to you as a Christmas present, but then I wanted to play it sooner than Christmas. So I went and gave it to you. And I said it, I said it right on the counter and Gigi comes from over there and she said, Bob Burgers. We're going to play. I don't, I can't imagine us getting any questions wrong. I mean, I, I am but very excited. I can't wait. I'm beyond excited. So for dinner tonight, I'm doing something slightly quicker. We had this uh, vegetable fried rice from Trader Joe's. It's frozen and this frozen mandarin orange chicken. And then both of these are from Trader Joe's. And then these, I think we got at Costco. And y'all, holy cannoli, these are so, so good. So these I'm going to pan fry in oil. This I'm going to microwave. And this I'm going to bake. So it's going to be kind of an interesting little dance I'm doing here to get everything done around the same time. <laughs> so that's that. Wontons are done. I did them on the stovetop in some oil. And then microwave the rice. Cooked the uh, chicken in the oven and then tossed it with the sauce. And it smells amazing in here. Why am I always laying down at the end of our videos? We both are. It's it's the style. I guess so. See my double so, chins. That's why I have a beard to hide it. Um, by so the why? way, we... Um, We've had a harrowing evening. <laughs> Not near as harrowing as uh, no, Gigi, no. though. <laughs> she was... You gave her a bath and laid her yeah. down while I was making our dinner. And we hear her. You came down and you're like, all right, she's in bed and... We can hear her through the monitor, and she's going, eh, and she's, and like, like, really crying. Like, there's a not difference. Not just like, yeah. Like, you could and tell like, she was But it was, like, upset. sad. It wasn't like she was in danger. This is important. Yeah. So then uh, we are listening, and we're like, oh, she's asking for Sophia. We're like, oh, okay, we'll I get her Sophia crib, doll. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe she threw it out or whatever. Yeah. So you run up, and you're like, what do you need? She's like, Fia, Fia, you know. <laughs> it was so cute and so sad. She cries the way I do, like a maniac. <laughs> I sound absolutely insane. Anyway. Pinocchio needs to get closer to the camera, though. So anyway. Look <laughs> at these soft ears. Long story short, it took us 10 minutes to find her. and I was We were like, maybe we left her at the park. And I'm yeah. like, no, I think she was in the car. So then we're looking at video clips we took today to see if she still had Sophia like, in While we were walking video. through the park, we're like, no, she still had her at that point. I so mean, we guys, both of us, our heart was just like. So <laughs> I, in the past, bought a backup Sophia doll. And it is in her closet, still like in the Amazon bag or whatever. But the thing is, when I bought it, I thought I was buying the same one, but it's actually not nearly as tall. It's like 12 inches versus, I don't know, 36 20, or however. Oh, yeah. No, that's too tall. But anyway, so it's um, not the same and she would know, obviously. So we're thinking about, because this was so scary, <laughs> we found her. She was like on the chair in the kitchen, kind of like under the table. Anyway... I know this sounds silly, but she was so heartbroken. And so it just broke our hearts. And we're like, yeah. oh my gosh, we can't lose Sophia. Like, this is so, that's her best friend. Randomly, we'll see yeah. her across the room. Look at Sophia. And she'll go, I love it. And just hug her. <laughs> <laughs> this kid just loves this doll. So I think we're going to, I think I know how to find the right one on Amazon. And we're going to order one more. A backup. Just, just in, in case. case. We yeah. should dirty it up preemptively. <laughs> Color on it. Dirty through some dirt. It's yeah, some watercolor we kept, paint on. She, again, because she was crying so much, I was like, I picked her up and we were walking around. I'm like, oh, Sophia's playing hide and seek. And then she thought that was and funny. And Gigi was genuinely and helping she was us. Like, she looked in the washer and dryer with me. I'm she's like, she's looking under the couch going, Fia, where are you? And of course, in our heads, we're like, oh, no, 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 she's no. At the park, oh, God. <laughs> anyway, so all is well, but it was yes. hilariously scary. Um, 
Also, okay, so we, I, I talked about earlier in this video, I think I figured out the noise thing. Um, at we the were end of both clips. just like researching But it's and so searching. funny because we, it's, if you read the comments like on my Instagram, half the people are like, never heard anything weird. Half the people are like, I hear it in every single video you've ever mm -hmm. done. Half the people. It's just like, it's so funny. Like, oh, I only hear it on my headphones. Other people are like, oh, I hear it on my TV, but not when I wear headphones. It's like, it's all over the place. Yeah. It's like, that's just the way the internet goes. What did I ask the other day? And I got completely, oh, I asked if uh, um, sleepy time, or not the sleepy time tea, the calm stuff broke your fast. And I got exactly half the people said, <laughs> yes, it does. And half the people said, no, it doesn't. So I'm no better off than I was the other day. I appreciate all your answers, but I have no idea. <laughs> uh, also, we started watching the Queen's Gambit tonight on netflix we watched there's it's a mini series right or whatever so yeah. it's seven a limited episodes. series yeah but i feel so like we if watched it's one as popular as it is they'll probably go ahead and make another season <laughs> i don't know though I although i'm wondering if it's based off of a novel not I, was like, it, I wonder if it's a story that begins and ends well you know what think I mean? about uh big little lies there was th that was one book one season i and want and need more it was popular and so they made another one because <laughs> people in Hollywood will make a whole series. Didn't we just talk about this? We did. And they'll keep going because... <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Oh, you, do you think I was going to do a Home Alone joke? I don't know what you're More where do. that came from. And then the people in Hollywood look at me and they say, uh, well, Tyler, we will stop kicking that dead horse when it stops spitting out money. And I say, touche. <laughs> You did it. Anyway. That was the joke he thought of after we talked about this the other day. That. And he yeah. said, oh, you I think should've I should. Said it. And I'm like, well, just record. No. That... <laughs> anyway, here we are. You got to use it. I did. I really did. Oh, my gosh. It's been also a... the other thing that we've done in the past and it's probably happened a lot. You guys have probably heard. We have the baby monitor on our phones and we'll forget to turn it off. So if you ever hear like a constant. <laughs> oh, it was on in my the, background. the last vlogmas on my channel, whatever day that was. It was. I actually popped up a text thing that said, yeah. hey, that static is her baby monitor. It drove Someday me we'll learn how to bonkers do this. editing that. I know. One day we'll know how to like. Probably not, though. Anyway, it's just so convenient to film with our phones. Yeah. That's just it. Because and if we're trying we to film the all the time, we always have our phones with us. Whereas if we were sharing a vlogging camera and passing it back and forth, it just wouldn't be the same. And with this the aid, the quality is so good compared to a lot of like, even like nicer cameras. That, it's not always great. Like when it's facing us. But, but, but yeah, the other cameras are so good. Yeah. When I do, eventually when I do the Europe videos, um, who knows how long it's going to take me to do those. But when those eventually do come out, those are all shot on our iPhones. The same ones we do this. And it, it looks amazing. Mm. It's incredible. Um, but... The other nice thing is if we do on both of our iPhones, when we get our footage together, it all automatically is in order. So then we just have to go through and watch it as opposed to like trying to drag and drop everything in where it goes. Vlogging uh, problems. Yeah. Right? My mind is a thousand million miles away. Cool. Well, um, I think it's a good place to stop. Yes. Um, well. We love you all. I think we're done here.